is fasting better than calorie restriction? Some people think that it is and act like these are two entirely separate things. It's fasting or calorie restriction. So traditional calorie restriction involves reducing your calorie intake by a certain percentage every single day. And fasting reduces your feeding window, such as abstaining from food for 16 hours per day and eating in the remaining eight hour window. Or on a weekly basis, abstaining from most or all food on certain days of the week, like the 5-2 diet or alternate day fasting. I need to clarify something super fucking important. So I'm going to put this bluntly. As fasting is very in fashion right now, a lot of people are capitalizing and cashing in on that by making it sound super fucking revolutionary. And at least partly because of that, quite a lot of people believe things about fasting that just simply aren't fucking true. Uh, you don't actually have to reduce your calorie intake when you're fasting. Really? Really? Do some people out there genuinely think that if you skip breakfast but then eat five times as much food for dinner, you will lose body fat because you shifted your calories to later in the day? Because that's just not how it fucking works. So why is there so much confusion around fasting? One reason is that it is surprisingly difficult to study in a way where you can pinpoint why it works. There are many, many research trials that suggest weight loss, fat loss, or health benefits in response to fasting. Let's use alternate day fasting to show you a few examples. If you look at the columns over here, you will see changes to inflammatory and glucoregulatory markers, as well as blood lipids, all in response to fasting. Yay, how exciting. But if you cast your eyes over here to the column that I've highlighted, you will notice that none of these specifically have a control group to compare it to. And if you don't mind me pointing out the glaringly fucking obvious, telling people to avoid food for extended periods of time tends to result in people eating less food. And when people eat less food, it nudges them towards consuming fewer calories. So those health benefits that we looked at, are those specific to the fasting protocol itself or is it literally just because people consumed fewer calories? Because weight loss in itself can be a vehicle for improved health markers. So to prove that fasting is better than calorie restriction, you need to compare them head to head. One group fasts, the other one reduces their calories normally, and that should clear everything up, right? Well, no. Not really, because if one group fasts and the other one diets normally, sometimes a fasting group will reduce their calorie intake below that of this group. For example, in this head-to-head -head paper, the fasting group consumed 376 calories per day less than this group. So if they had got better results in this instance, which they didn't, would it have been because of the fasting protocol or because of this discrepancy here. All of this explains why one group of people think that fasting is the greatest thing since sliced bread. And another group of people think that fasting is just calorie restriction repackaged. And it's the latest trend that the diet industry is nursing a metaphorical erection over. All of this brings us neatly to a new research paper, which looks to isolate the benefits of fasting versus calorie restriction. To do this, they compared standard calorie restriction to alternate day fasting, but there were two alternate day fasting groups, one with a reduced calorie intake and the other one without. It was a super fucking detailed trial, not just looking at body composition at the end, but also measuring components of physical activity, metabolic health markers, and gene expression. And the results, drum roll please. When calorie intake was matched, fasting was equally as effective for weight loss. But it was actually worse for fat loss and lean body mass preservation, without evidence of fasting specific effects on metabolic regulation or cardiovascular health. So here are your super simplified cliff notes. Fasting absolutely can promote weight loss and fat loss. Nobody is disputing that. But at least quite a large fucking part of that is literally because people eat less food. When you compare it to traditional calorie restriction, when calorie intakes are actually kept the same, there appears to be pretty little difference. And yes, fasting programs can absolutely improve some health markers. But again, it looks like quite a large fucking part of that is simply because people consume fewer calories. Does this mean that there are absolutely no benefits to fasting? No, not necessarily, and I've never actually said that. But the point is, quite a lot of sleazy, shit-stained salespeople are selling you the benefits of their revolutionary new fasting plan and pretending that it is entirely separate to calorie restriction. And those people need to stop pretending that they are sitting on the holy grail of diets just so they can sell it to you.